welcome to uh, Creative Cloud. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial and uh, we're going to be using the Adafruit Fel Haza ESP8266 and um, the other thing you would need to kind of follow along with this is um, a, a DHT2022 temperature and humidity sensor. You can also you can also use the uh, DHT20 I mean uh, DHT11 sensor. Kind of kind of the same. Um, so first thing first. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let's set up our variables first before we dive in into the wiring and um, this catch. So first thing you're gonna do is you know sign up. You know I've already done that before. So sign up and then once you sign up you know you go ahead and um, put in your credentials and log in. And once you log in, this is what you're gonna see. You know nothing. You know there's nothing here. This is the website. Um, this is your dashboard. This is, these are your devices. Basically, um, this this is how you create um, you create a device, and then you also after that you you add uh, two variables. So, and then these these are the events. The events is um, when you create a uh, a variable, and you get data data recorded here. This is where you this is where you see. This is where it shows up. So this is gonna be like your little um, event or um, visualizer here. And the other thing is um, here's your profile and API credentials. I'm gonna be showing you guys there. So the most important thing that you need from this website is um, a token that would go into our sketch. Um, I believe, yeah, that's all from from the from the side. And the other thing we would need is is um, the variable, the two variable that we're gonna create their numbers. And I'm gonna show you guys how to create one right now. First, you have to name your source. So what we're gonna do is start with uh, naming our source, and uh, let's just say temp. Because I already have weather station. All let's say demo Ooh, demo weather, just for the sake of it. And then once you create this, you click this one, uh, you click your source or your device you created. And then, uh, so basically, uh, this is what you have. Um, so we're gonna add a, a variable. And uh, you see, once you, click, once you click add variable, choose the default. And then once you choose the default, um, name your variables. We're gonna name this one temperature, because we're only gonna be recording two variables you know and then after that we're gonna add another variable and that would be the humidity and then after that after you created uh, both both of uh, both your um, uh, variables the other thing you're gonna you're gonna need is you see this uh, kind of like um, an eye or I don't know exclamation mark no it's an eye yeah there so you need your variable ID so you're gonna copy this and place it in your uh, sketch and then you also copy this one and place it in your sketch um, the sketch that I'm gonna be using it's already um, like it, it literally tells you like variable ID 1 and variable ID 2 and always variable ID 1 is temperature and variable ID 2 is humidity but you can switch around you know it, it, it doesn't really matter but you wanna you wanna you wanna record the correct you know you know data. <clears throat> so after after that, um, what we're gonna do is go to Git GitHub, and depending on what board you're using, um, I'm using the the Haza uh, Feather ESP8266. Um, so I needed this. Uh, Adafruit DH, uh, DHT humidity and temperature unified sensor library. So you need to <coughs> download this one, download it in a zip, and then once you do that, you open your um, your Arduino sketch, and then what you're gonna do is yeah yeah once you download it. Um, you don't have to. Uh, you don't really have to unzip it or anything like that. So what you can do is you can just like 
no it's catch then you say include library and then you can say add zip library and then you can add the zip library and it will it will just show up like right away like that you know and then um so the next thing we're gonna do is uh bear with me guys because i'm I, i'm using a mac and i'm also running a virtual box here uh windows uh, 8.1 and somehow um i have two esp8266 i have the um the haza uh board esp8266 and i have the feather um haza esp8266 both of them work fine when i'm using a virtual box or a windows environment but whenever i'm using a mac somehow some i i, I don't know it doesn't work even the people that make these sports know that too you know uh, people have had problems with you know mac um but what you can do is um you can go to the adafruit uh website and then they will show you you have to download several drivers i'm not going to be showing you guys that today um this is just a quick tutorial as you can see um when i try to upload this code this is the actual sketch we're going to be using um, you see that it, it is not it's not even uh, compiling the sketch so that tells me that it it is not recognizing my micro USB so what I'm gonna be doing all right so um, I switched boards so I'm using the um, the Haza ESP8266 board right now so I'm just gonna show you um, how to run the sketch and you know how it's gonna look like reading the data on this website um, so we're gonna go to device and then uh, demo weather and then you see we have humidity and temperature so what we're gonna do is grab this copy and then go to our sketch sketch and then you see where it says variable ID one I believe the one that I copied right now is humidity, so that should be variable variable ID two. So it goes is number two, the ID ID two, I mean. And then let's go grab the other one. So once 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 we grab this one, um, we got one more thing left. Hold on. Three. All right. Let's copy and paste this. So, <clears throat> once you do once once you do that, the next thing you're gonna do is um. Yeah, you need a string token. Um, that is basic basically your um your API token. Um, here that's and that and and the easiest way to get that is the API credentials. And then um, this this code, and you can always generate a new one if you want a new a new token, or you know, you can always create a new one. I mean, generate a new one. So once you grab that and um, paste it on here, where it says string token, um, you get to go, and then make sure you 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 um, provide your SSID and your um, password I know my password you know it is very basic but it's just an access point that I have in here so I'm, I'm not worried about getting hacked or something like that um, so yeah so um, let's run the sketch and then we should be able to record our data All right, running the sketch And then um, once when this goes, we'll, we'll pull um we'll pull out the serial monitor and we'll see our output. That's the good thing about you know using the serial monitor. You're gonna see what what's gonna be going to the um to the internet before it's gonna be printed out here. I'll show you guys. So then uploading. And then you just pull up this already connected. 
So what he does, so what this this sketch does is, um, it 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 would push data to UB dots every like like I think two two third uh two seconds or three seconds. It will wait for a little bit and then it will push and then it will wait for a little bit and then it will push. That's 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 what he does. So um so let's go to um UB dots. And um, see our data demo weather. There you go. So we have humidity. We see a few seconds ago, and then uh, we have temperature. Um, just update a few seconds ago. You can always click this one and get even more insight or you know graphical. It'll tell you this is the static statistics. I mean, it'll give you a raw average, minimum, maximum, sum, whatever you prefer. You know, however you want to view your, your you know, your data. And then, um, yeah. And the next thing is let's check out humidity. Yeah, same thing. You know, but. And by the way, you can you can always change. You know, um, you you don't really have to have this type of. Uh, uh, data data chart you can always choose different they, they have different other 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 um, ones that you could choose from you know that's that's before you create that's when you're creating the uh, um, the device is when you choose what type of um, variable you know um, you want see it's it's up, it's updating every every three or five seconds I believe and then it go and then the the ESP8266 go to sleep, not deep sleep, but just just waits for a little bit, and then it will push the data right away after that. And then right there, a few seconds ago, a few seconds ago. Um. So yeah, that's about it. Please, if you have any questions, you know, um, don't forget to subscribe and comment. This is my first time ever doing a video tutorial on YouTube. Um, a little background. Um, I I did this project on um for my capstone for my um last year in college, last semester. So um you know it was interesting. I didn't know anything about um Adafruit or you know um Arduino in general. So I, I learned it. I learned it by force, and I loved it after that. So um you know this is my first time you know doing this. Please you know if you have any questions you know just post it in the comment let me know what you think you know what I can improve next time you know I know I, I didn't show you guys you know any of the wiring or anything like that if you have if you really want to see that please you know at me or you know shoot me shoot me an email or um, comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you